Welcome guys. In today's tutorial, we're going to look at measures of variation for ungrouped data. So let's take a look at the various formula that we'll be using. So the first formula we are going to look at is the range. The range is equal to H minus L, where H means the highest value in the data set and L means the lowest value. Okay. Then we are also going to look at the variance in the standard deviation. But for variance and standard deviation, we can have population variance and standard deviation, and we can also have sample variance and standard deviation. So let's take them. So for population, we use the Greek letter sigma square to represent population variance. Okay. And it should be equal to sum of x minus mu square divided by capital letter N. Then for population standard deviation, it's the square root of sigma x minus mu square divided by capital letter N. Then when we go to sample also, for sample variance, use small letter s squared to represent sample variance. And it's a sigma x minus x bar. This should be x bar. x minus x bar squared divided by small letter n minus 1. But for sample standard deviation, we use just small letter s without a square. And it should give us square root of sigma x minus x bar bracket close square divided by small letter n minus 1. So let's see how to apply the formula. So let's take some examples. Example 1. The number of traffic citations issued during the last five months on Accra and Way are 20, 14, 32, 18, and 22. What is the range, the population variance, and the population standard deviation? For the first one, Roman number one, the range is equal to what? H minus L. So what is our H? Our H will be 32. And the L will be what? 14. That is the lowest. Okay. So 32 minus 14 gives us what? 18. So the range is 18. Then to solve the Roman number 2, what is the formula for population variance? Sigma square is equal to sum of x minus mu square divided by capital letter n but how do we solve this you can quickly create some table here then you name this x then this one can be x minus mu and this place can be x minus mu square okay so the x means each value 20 14, 32, 18, and 22. Okay. So, to get x minus mu, you need the mu first. The mu means the mean, the population mean. So, to get a population mean, we add all the x together. When you add them, you get 106. Then you divide it by 5 because there are 5 in numbers. So, when you do that, you get 21.2. So here we can say 20, you know, x minus mu means deviation. Okay, we call it deviation. So to find the deviations, we take the first x, which is 20. 20 minus 21.2 gives us what? Negative 1.2. So you find the square of the deviation. So negative 1.2 squared should give you what? 1.44. Okay. Then, 14 minus 21.2 is negative 7.2. Negative 7.2 squared is 51.84. Then the next one, 32 minus 21.2 is 10.8. And 10.8 squared should give you 116.64. Then 18 minus 21.2 is negative 
and negative 3.2 squared should give us what? 10.24. Then the next one, 22 minus 21.2 is 0 0.8. And 0 0.8 squared should give you 0 0.64. So when you add all the deviation squares, when you add them together, you get 180.8. So it means sigma x minus mu square, which is this part. Sigma x minus mu square is 180.8. So you just substitute with the straight 180.8. Divided by n means number of values. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's 5. So 180.8 divided by 5 gives you 36.16 so the, the population variance is 36.16 now roman number three says we should find a population standard deviation now i gave you formula for population standard deviation as let me write it somewhere here square root of sigma x minus mu square divided by n it's just like the variance but this one has a square root but there is no need since you know your variance there's no need using writing the formula population standard deviation can be equal to square root of variance so if variance is 36.16 then square root of 36.16 will give you 6.0133 or 6.01 simple okay 6.01 so this is the population standard deviation at times a question can ask you to find coefficients of variation let's say roman number four says you should find coefficients of variation i didn't include that in the question in the question when a question asks you to find coefficients of variation let's say siva the formula for coefficient of variation is standard deviation over mean times hundred percent or just times hundred okay so what is our standard deviation six point zero one isn't it over what is the mean the mean is twenty one point two times hundred percent so use your calculator to Compute the 6.01 divided by 21.2 times 100 to give you 28.35%. So that's the coefficient of variation. So if a question asks you to find the coefficient of variation, the formula is standard deviation divided by mean times 100 or times 100%. Be very careful, not variance divided by mean, but it's rather standard deviation divided by mean so let's go to example two example two says the manager of a fast food restaurant selected several cash register receipts at random he selected them at random the amount spent by customers were twelve dollars fifteen dollars sixteen dollars ten dollars and twenty seven dollars Compute the range, the sample variance, sample standard deviation. So to solve this, Roman number one says we should find the what the range. So range is equal to the highest, which is twenty-seven, minus the lowest, which is ten. So that gives us what seventeen. Then. Roman number two. To find the sample variance, which we use s squared to represent, the formula says what? Sigma x minus x bar squared divided by what? N minus one. So we can quickly create some table here to do that. So x. Then we can have x minus x bar here, then x minus x bar square. So 
the x's are 12 15 16 10 and 27 so let's find the mean x bar we add all these together when you add them together you divide it by 5 so we add all these together when you add them you get 80 so sigma x over n n is 5 so 80 divided by 5 gives you 16 so the mean is 16 so x minus mean 12 minus 16 is what negative 4 negative 4 square will give you positive 16 15 minus 16 is negative 1. Negative 1 square gives you positive 1. 16 minus 16 is 0. 0 square is still 0. 10 minus 16 is negative 6. Negative 6 square gives you 36. Then 27 minus 16 is 11. And then 11 square is 1, 2, 1. So when you add all the deviation squares together, you get 174. So you can substitute here directly. Sigma x minus mean square is 174 divided by what is the n? The n is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 5 minus 1. So when you solve this, 174 divided by 4, we get 43.5. So for Roman number 3, to find the sample standard deviation, you can say square root of 43.5. The square root of 43.5 gives you 6.6 .6 or 6.595, which is 6.6. .6. Okay. So in case I ask you to find the coefficient of variation, coefficient of variation, you can say standard deviation over mean times 100 so what is the standard deviation 6.6 .6 divided by what is the mean the mean is 16 times 100 times 100 percent so when you do 6.6 divided by 16 times 100 you get 41.25 percent So that's the coefficient of variation. In case a question asks you to find the coefficient of variation, standard deviation divided by mean times 100%. So take this assignment, solve it, and then drop your answer in the comment box below. Thank you.